What's up everyone, this is Mike from iGetSwell and today we're going to be reviewing this 8K fiber optical cable by RuiPro and this one can do 4K 120Hz, 8K 60Hz and we're going to be looking at what kind of cable is it at $100 plus and what it can do for you. Alright, first of all I want to say thank you all for subscribing guys, you have made me reach 10,000 subscribers so this Thanksgiving cannot get any better. But let's just talk about this video now. So. 50 Gbps it says on the box, but it is actually the 48 Gbps. I think there's a typo on the box. It says 50 Gbps, but it can go up to 48 Gbps. Can do HDR10, Dolby Vision, 8K 60 Hz, 4K 120 Hz, variable refresh rates, ALM, quick frame transfer. It can do almost like everything. It says QTF. This is another typo, so I don't know what, what's going on with them. So it's quick frame transfer. It can do HDCP up to 2.3. That's fine. Yeah, every cable should be uh, doing that for the HDMI 2.1. eARC, uncompressed audio, Dolby Atmos, DTSX. It can do all the you know glory stuff out there. It is also two meter long cable. So I'm going to be talking about why you should get it and why you should not get it actually. So if you're looking at the cable, which is two meter long, just get the copper one. I'll be honest with you, straightforward. Do not pay extra for any kind of HDMI cable. All right, guys, so here we're looking at the cable, which is sturdy, a good build. And we can see these connectors are 24 carats uh, gold plated. So they're kind of like so shiny, so chrome kind of connectors. But it's not real gold. It's just the gold plating. So I don't know. If it was coming with the gold, maybe I would pay over $100. But it's just to keep the gold as investment. But this cable for $100 plus does not justify. Because at 2 meter length, you don't really need that kind of cable. And you can see this is unidirectional. So it goes from source, source to your display. So... This cable will be good if you're using it with the projector. Like projector is going to be far, so then, you know, the laser technology can come and play a role because the fiber optical cables, they use the laser technology as compared to the electricity traveling th through the cable in the copper HDMI cables. So this can travel so far, you know, you can use this cable if you're running lens about 10 meter and over, but two meter, I will not recommend this. Now we're going to be testing this cable with the PlayStation 5 and the Marantz and see if it can actually do 4K 120 hertz. All right, guys, so as you can see, I have connected this cable in the back of the Marantz SR7015 receiver. This receiver can check the cable for you guys. So I have connected the cable and I'm going to summon the menu where you can do the cable test. So you have to hold the up button and the back button so that's how you get to the menu and then you can go to the cable test and then start the cable test while testing i have noticed that it was able to pass 4k 120 hertz 8k 60 hertz easily without any issues so this cable is legitimate is good but then one more thing that i talked about length of the cable you literally don't need this cable for the short length make sure if you're getting this cable it's for a longer uh, length application so after this, I tested it about like quite a few times, four to five times, and it was able to pass the uh, 8K test and the 4K 120 hertz test. And now I'm going to be testing it with the PlayStation 5 and see if I'm going to be getting any visual differences as compared to using the HDMI cable, which is copper base, and this HDMI cable, which is $100 plus, which is fiber optic cable. All right, guys, as you have seen that it has passed all the tests for the 8K 60 Hertz and the uh, 4K 120 Hertz at 40 Gbps connection. So now I'm connecting this to my LG OLED C10 and the PlayStation 5. And I'm going to show you guys uh, whether it can do 4K 120 Hertz or not. And I'm looking at the screen. I'm doing this voiceover. So I was trying to play the video games and um, trying to see what visual difference I can see with the 4K uh, 120 Hertz using the fiber optical cable and using the regular copper cable. And there's not much difference at all. I mean, it, it could be perceived bias if you're using a cable which is expensive, but it, do, it does not justify that you're getting uh, better quality that you can get from the copper HDMI cable. So guys, at two meter length, this cable is not. So if there is one that you can find and you are like, okay, I'm gonna buy this cable because it's expensive and it might do something better than the copper cab cable, but it's not gonna do that. So I tested this cable and ran my Call of Duty Cold War. And on Cold War, I was able to get the 4K 120 Hertz easily. So this cable will work 
And this cable will work also for the long length, like a 10 meter plus. So if it is something that you actually need a longer length, you can go ahead and order this cable. But I will recommend not to use a copper cable for longer length, longer than three meter, you should be looking into fiber optic cable. But right now, there's less application because I don't know if you're going to be using a longer length. Maybe you're connecting your console directly to the TV. But if it is something that you need, you can go ahead and buy something like this and it will be able to help you for the long length application of the 4K 120 Hertz. All right, guys, I'm going to show you in my screen and video setting that I was able to get the 4K 120 Hertz uh, signal through this cable. So it was working on fi all fine. I mean, it will do the job, but it won't do anything better than a regular copper cable. So guys, that's it from this video. If you like the video, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more content. And I'll be seeing you guys in another video. Until then, peace out.